This is Michael Taylor, the curator of modern art here at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And I'm standing here in the penultimate room in the Picasso and the Avant Garde in Paris exhibition at the museum. And I'm standing here in front of Brancusi's Mademoiselle Pogany. It's the third version that Brancusi made. And every great Brancusi sculpture begins with this polished marble. Everything is so smooth and egg-like. And there's a wonderful uh, sense in which the arms of this woman are almost like a scallop shell. There's a kind of art deco feel to this piece. But what makes it especially great is when you put it on a base like this. Here, Brancusi's taken a solid block of oak and he's hacked into it. He's made this wonderful folk-like pattern, drawing on the folk traditions of his native Romania. So what happens when you put this sort of ivory smoothness of the marble sculpture with the roughly hewn base, it's, it's almost like a kind of electric spark. And that's the kind of tension and frisson that makes a Brancusi so great. Now, one more thing about this piece. Everyone talks about how abstracted she is, how she has these sort of, you know, fin-like eyes going into this pointed nose. When you see Margit Pogany's portrait, you'll notice just how realist Brancusi had been. It's so surprising. She actually did have this kind of dome-shaped head. And here she is, head on hands, just like that scallop show I was talking about.